I better not be excited for nothing. I am excited. Switch Mini. Maybe, maybe Switch Mini. There has been a leak. Uh, someone needs to patch the holes on this fucking ship. But there has been a leak. A Switch Mini leak. Uh, obviously, <laughs> take this with a grain of salt. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, like I said, take it with the whole goddamn jar of salt or whatever salt shaker. I don't know what. You got a Morton's jug of salt. Take it with that whole goddamn thing. Pour the whole thing on there. But uh, apparently some Chinese factory worker, supposedly a Chinese factory worker, on Chinese social media leaked an image of the shell of a, a Nintendo Switch Mini. And the whole thing was teal. It looked beautiful. I was like, God, finally a nice, fun color Switch. Not the black tablet that we get. We always just get the black tablet and then on the back of it they'll fucking fucking print some bullshit pattern that's also black which you know whatever but this thing was fucking a bright beautiful maybe sea foam no it's a like a teal more of a teal i'm gonna say sea foam green but it was definitely more of a teal uh color uh and i was like god damn this thing looks fucking nice it was just the shell i saw some people were talking about it and they weren't mentioning that it was just a shell clearly you couldn't see like the l and r buttons or anything else uh so yeah it was just a shell nothing there was no guts in this thing but, uh, yeah, the factory employee put a little rainbow on there to censor out his hand. You could see his thumb. Uh, it looked like this Nintendo Switch Mini was about that big, which some people are like, wow, this thing looks fucking tiny, all right? I'm like, this thing is a pretty good size still. It's like this fucking big, right? I mean, that's like a pretty goddamn good size. Some people are saying half the size of a regular Switch, and I'm like, oh, take it easy there, partner. I don't think you know how to do fractions, because this thing looks like it's at least two-thirds the size of a, uh, of a regular Switch. And, uh... I want the switch. I want a smaller switch. I want a more portable switch. Obviously, if they put the Joy Cons built into the system, that the screen can go like way out there, and the button, and the shit can the Joy Con. I mean, the buttons and the fucking uh, analog sticks can be can just be barely on there, basically. Uh, this, if it's all one unit, the screen can be bigger. I'm not worried about the screen size. Some people are like, I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to see Mario on my Mario Odyssey. I'm like, dude, do you remember the fucking Game Boy Advance? She was tiny on there. The screen on the Game Boy Advance is like this fucking big, all right? And that worked just fine. So this is going to be fine. I'll be able to play whatever. Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, whatever. You give me a screen like this big and I'm good to go. I'm ripping. I am fucking ripping. Uh, they got the screen zoom feature now too. So some people were like, yep, I'm thinking this is real. Some people think it's real. Some people think it's fake to Switch Mini. I don't know. I'm really hoping it is because uh, obviously this one's teal. I don't think they're all going to be fucking teal. They're going to give us fun colors, just like 3DS. You're going to get all, all kinds of fun iterations. This is where the action is going to be for uh, special editions. They're going to be like, ooh, look at this wacky Metroid one, because we got the new Metroid Prime 4 coming out. we got a sick little Switch Mini for you guys. This is going to be the good stuff. This is what I want, and this is what I'm hoping we're going to fucking get. Uh, I guess we'll see. Supposedly, I've heard stuff that the Switch Mini is supposed to come out in the fall or something like that, if it's real. All these leaks from different people, different sources, different things colliding and meshing together and molding together in just a, a leaky, shitty soup. Uh, beautiful soup, though. It does look, it does look delicious. Uh, all these things colliding. It's kind of a, it's kind of a mess right now. I guess maybe we'll see it at E3, but you know, Nintendo doesn't give a shit about E3, so maybe we'll have to wait for a fucking direct. I don't know. But regardless, it got me. It got me horned up for some Switch Mini action. I'm, I'm really excited about about the idea of this thing because it looked looked solid, looked good. Speaking of directs, we just got a a Joker Smash, the Joker and Smash Bros Ultimate. Pretty much, it was a fucking direct, right? It was like a 15 minute long YouTube video where they showed off all these cool new Smash features. Uh, Joker got a lot of airtime. Uh, his his uh, model looked fucking incredible. I don't play Smash. Ooh, sorry. I don't play Smash, but his model looked incredible. And I was like, man, they put a lot of work and effort in there. They got Persona 4 love, Persona 3 love. They had a bunch of good stuff in there, all kinds of video editing, everything. It should have been a direct. I don't know why they didn't call it a direct. People love fucking directs. Uh, they would have got more brownie points from the community if it was called a direct. Like, ooh, new direct out of nowhere. Woo, look at this. This is awesome. But it was just a it was just a video for some reason. I don't know. Maybe they're like, oh, you know, fuck directs. I don't know. We haven't really been getting very many directs uh, as of lately. So who knows what that's all about. But it all looked great. If you play Smash, God damn it, you are excited. It, had, it has like 3 million views or something on the video. And it just got, it just got put up. It's fucking, it's doing great. Uh, uh, so good on you, Nintendo and uh, Smash fans. You're just in heaven, right? You're just over here just lounging around like, oh, it just it keeps getting better and better. I wish I had a game that was getting love like that, but I don't. Sorry. 
I, I don't. I can't play Smash. I just I'm not fighting games. Not my thing. But hey, I get it. I get why you guys like it. So enjoy Capcom Home Arcade. I'm sure you guys have heard all about this. I wanted to talk about this. Uh, it's a plug and play from Capcom. That's pretty much like a two player uh, arcade stick. Basically, it's like a one and two player. Boom. There you go. And it's got 16 games on it. Uh, I don't know how well it's gonna be emulated. I hear, hear like some, there's some weird stuff going on with the emulation. Like maybe it's not fully like legit yet. Like they just started using it. And they didn't ask the developers and shit. I, some kind of shit with the fucking emulation is going on. I don't know. Seems like uh, the whole thing seems kind of weird. It just came out of nowhere. Like ooh, boom, Capcom Home Arcade. What? Uh, it's 200 pounds, which equates to about 260 bucks, which I'm sure they just rounded down to 250. Uh, if it's a more solid, satisfying number, maybe it'd be two fifty nine ninety nine. I don't know, but anyways, two hundred pounds or two hundred sixty bucks. About um, maybe it's two hundred fifty. I didn't. I just saw the prices in in, in European and Euro, in euros and pounds. So maybe it already is confirmed for two hundred fifty bucks. I don't fucking know. But uh, sixteen games, two hundred fifty bucks. I mean, they're just like fight sticks, right? But fight sticks are expensive, all right. I know for consoles, you're like, Shane, I got my fucking one hundred fifty dollar Tekken. 18 fight stick are you kidding me it's high-end premium plastic uh i don't know uh I, I i don't give a shit about this all right the games none of none of them I, you know arcade great i'm not really an arcadey kind of guy i like more of a story investment i want to put time into a game uh arcades are fun to dick around with uh your friends for like five minutes but i don't want to fucking have a home arcade but i know there's a lot of people to do for super hardcore fighting game enthusiasts this might this might be a wet dream i don't know but 250 bucks Wow, that's uh, that's gonna be a no for me. That's gonna be a hard, solid no from me. But hey, maybe you're excited. Maybe you're like 250 bucks. That's nothing, Shane. You chump. Maybe I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna get this. I doubt any of you are. But hey, maybe you will. And GameStop is squirming. They're squirming uh, under the pressure of inevitable collapse. Uh, GameStop just announced a new. Guaranteed to love it, that's what it's called, program uh, under the new CEO, George Sherman. It was announced a day after he uh, was announced to be the new CEO. This was announced. Uh, and it's a 48-hour uh, time period. If a new game comes out, uh, within 48 hours of the release of the game, you can return the game for full store credit refund. You can get a full store credit refund, not cash. You're not getting your cash back. Sorry, sweetheart. But hey, you know, you buy whatever. It's gonna start out with, uh, what was the fucking game it was gonna start out with? Uh, Days Gone. It's gonna start with Days Gone. No other word uh, beyond that, apparently. But I'm like, the, the wording said it's gonna start with Days Gone, which I think they mean from like this release onward, all the releases after that. I think that's that's what I got from it. But some people on the internet were like, well, what else are you gonna do? What else are you gonna do again? What are they gonna give us a fucking list? It said starting with Days Gone. I don't, I don't know, but anyways. If it is starting with the game, Days Gone, then there you go. There, four. And then, so you buy the game, you don't like it, or you play through it in two days, uh, you got a 48 hour window, you can go return it for full store credit and get another game, or get like some fucking Funko figures, or Pokemon cards, whatever the fuck you want. GameStop sells all kinds of shit besides video games because they're trying their goddamn to stay afloat, and it's not happening. That ship is going down like the Titanic, brother! But uh, hey, let's, this new guy, George Sherman, was just like, fuck, we gotta do something. Give them all their money back if they don't like the game. Um, they said they're trying to give you know, power to the players. They're like, we're trying to live up to our power to the players model. And it's like, you're giving us store credit. Okay, Bucker, I understand if they were gonna give uh, cash back, then that would be taken advantage of a lot harder than store credit. But hey, two days is a long fucking time to have a game. I mean, if you binge that shit, a lot of games you can beat in two days, GameStop. So. There are gonna be people taking full advantage of this, and maybe that'll help all your business because they'll get them in the store more. I don't, I don't really know, honestly. Uh, and you'll have the, your, their money from the get-go, and you're just gonna give them their full store credit. Maybe they'll keep recycling for new games, but it's a two-day period. It's all kind of weird, but I could see people taking advantage of it and uh, getting over on GameStop. I don't think it's gonna help you, motherfuckers. You, you had a net loss of 673 million in uh, 2018 and uh, you just keep every time they report uh, their financial shit or whatever it's always a loss so uh, they are done i don't care george sherman you just you just stepped into a fucking hot tub full of boiling shit 
uh, you need to get out ASAP because this is not gonna this is not gonna be good on your record. You're not saving the company, but they needed some they needed some kind of captain to go down with the ship. The second they hit that iceberg, everyone stepped. They said, "I'm out of here." And then they got another guy, and he said, "Oh shit, we're going down. I'm out of here." George Sherman, you're one brave, brave boy. Uh, but hey, there's nothing you can do. This is, is done. GameStop is done. R.I.P. Uh, sorry to see you go. I stopped shopping there a long time ago because of Best Buy's Gamer Club Unlocked, which mine expires in 2020. So I still got a year of uh, getting those games for 20% off. I wish they would kept doing that, but hey, I understand why you can't because that is a uh, not a good loss leader because all I buy is video games. I, I, I think I maybe like once or twice in the last year have bought something besides a video game from Best Buy, but they're just not making very much money off of me. But I'm in, taking advantage of that 20% off. I buy every fucking game there. Uh, so, I mean, this whole, you know, games retail space is kind of going the way of the dodo because of all these huge companies wanting to go digital only. We got the, we just got our first all digital Xbox, which is priced horribly. That's another rant. But anyways, you know, games are going to be coming more and more digital focus. So retail stores, brick and mortar, video games, it's not going to be going that great for a while. It's going to be like a collector's market only eventually probably pretty soon in the next few years uh next console generation after this one i'm thinking for sure but uh hey we'll see it anyways gamestop like i said r.i.p sad to see you go but whatever <laughs> what can you do you fucked up uh if you want to be like this badass on screen right here uh you can hit up our merch store fugamecrew.bigcartel.com we got shirts we got mugs we got all that fun stuff uh, and it helps out the channel a lot but if you want to help out the channel and you don't want to buy merch we have a patreon patreon.com slash fugamecrew and uh, that really helps out all our current patrons. You are amazing, and you know we love you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. So I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support. I ate too much popcorn!